So I have noticed that there are actually a lot of English teachers who follow me on Facebook and on YouTube. And sometimes people ask me this question. How can I be a great English teacher like you? And first, thank you. That's very nice of you. It makes me very happy. I feel very good when you tell me that you think that I am a good English teacher. So, thank you. However, I also want you to remember that you do not know if I am a good English teacher. I have a lot of followers on Facebook and on YouTube. I make a lot of videos. But that does not mean that I am a good English teacher. You have never actually seen me teach students how to speak English. You have seen me explain things about English. This is the difference between this and this. But doing things like that, that's not how you teach people to speak English. You don't need a teacher for that. 90% of the things that I teach you, you don't need me for. 90% of the things that I tell you, you can find just searching on the internet. So, I don't, I don't really believe that I am a teacher when I make these videos because I don't do the things that I do when I'm in a classroom. And I don't want you to do the things that I do in these videos when you are in a classroom. In these videos, I speak slowly, I speak very clearly, and I explain, explain, explain for three minutes. Don't do that in a classroom. If you do that in a classroom, you will be the most boring teacher in the world. So don't go into your classroom and try to be Teacher Mike on Facebook in the classroom. That's not how a classroom works. The way that I teach in a classroom looks nothing like what you see in these videos. When you are a teacher and your goal is to teach speaking, speaking a new language. You should be encouraging your learners to speak. They should be speaking more than you. You should be speaking less than 50% of the time. They should be speaking more than 50% of the time. Usually, when you are speaking, you should just be explaining a task, giving feedback, giving encouragement, answering questions. You should not be standing in the front of the class with everyone listening to you while you speak, 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 speak. That's not how you teach people to speak. To learn to speak, people need to speak. So this isn't a video only for teachers. This is also a video for the people who are learning English. If you want to learn to speak, you need to speak more. Don't just watch my videos, watch my videos, watch my videos. Because if you do that, you will learn a lot of information, but it's not going to help your speaking. To improve your speaking, you need to actually find opportunities to speak. And for teachers, you should be giving your students opportunities to speak encouraging them to make mistakes, and then giving them constructive feedback when they do make mistakes.